In one of our earlier videos, we had told you how Bollywood is the landlord for most of Mumbai because these stars own the maximum properties in the maximum city. Well, when you are getting paid in crores for every little thing that you do, then real estate is the only traditionally safe place where you can park your funds. And a city like Mumbai, where the property rates never really depreciate, is clearly one of the top choices. Now the news of Ranveer Singh's new apartment deal has sent the city's flourishing real estate market into a tizzy because of its sheer scale. It's truly mind-boggling and one of the most high-value deals to have been struck in the city in the recent times. Yes, in one of the biggest real estate apartment deals in the country, Ranveer Singh has purchased a sea-facing quadruplex, meaning four floors in suburban Bandra for a jaw-dropping 119 crore rupees actually 118.94 crore rupees that means 118 crores and 94 lakh rupees to be most precise now we are not sure if this star couple is even opting for any loan to buy this hugely expensive piece of property or paying it all from their earnings and savings now this video is not only about that particular deal so keep watching to know more secrets about very high value property deals of real estate involving Bollywood. Ranveer and Deepika bought the apartment spread across 16th, 17th, 18th and 19th floor of Sagar Resham building with multiple parkings. Bandra Bandstand which is close to Shah Rukh Khan's bungalow Mannat and Salman Khan's house in Galaxy Apartments. Actually they bought the 16th floor apartment and a triplex from 17th to 19th floor. So the family has bought it from a builder called Enom Nagpal Realty LLP. Property analysts say that all these residential apartments would probably be amalgamated to form one massive quadruplex combining all four private units. Now these apartments have been purchased under O5O Media Works LLP. It's a company which has Ranveer Singh and his father Jagjit Bhavnani as directors. They bought the apartment in the building after the builder took an old existing property to redevelop it. It's a very common thing in Mumbai and it happens almost every second day. The deal has a customization component wherein the builder will make the four floors as per the preferences of the actor. Now at present, Sagar Resham doesn't boast of any name from Bollywood who will be the new neighbours of the star couple according to the sources. This building mostly has four and five bed apartments. A stamp duty of over 7 crore has been paid for the transaction which includes the purchase of 11,266 square feet of space and exclusive 1300 square feet terrace and as many as 19 parking lots. Now imagine, this stamp duty of 7 crore 13 lakhs alone is enough for you to get a swanky 3 BHK apartment in South Mumbai and way more than all the cost of all my properties put together in Mumbai. Ranveer's new apartments per square feet price works out to around 1 lakh rupees which according to the most real estate experts is pretty much the going rate in that area. Most apartments at Bandra Sea Face are upwards of 90,000 per square feet that can also go up to 1,10,000 per square feet. Now Ranveer and Deepika's massive apartment spread across four floors is likely to serve as the primary home for Ranveer and Deepika. Sources said that they were in the market for nearly three years now looking for an independent bungalow in Juhu and Bandra where a lot of celebrities stay. But since they couldn't find one villa or a bungalow like Mannat, they opted for this massively huge property which is spread across four floors. Last year, the couple had bought a second home in Alibagh for a massive 22 crore rupees. So where do Ranveer and Deepika currently live in Mumbai? Well, after Deepika Padukone and Ranveer Singh tied the knot in Italy in November 2018, soon after that, Ranveer Singh actually moved in with Deepika in her Prabha Devi home, which itself is nothing less than marvellous. Deepika Padukone's current home in Mumbai is a 4 BHK flat in Bormont Towers at Prabha Devi and sources say she is not selling this apartment either. It's in South Mumbai, the primest of locations. Deepika's 4 BHK flat is on the 26th floor of Tower B of Bormont Towers, which is co-owned by her father and badminton champion Prakash Padukone. She bought this property in 2010 for 16 crore rupees back then and has completely redone the interiors to suit her own taste and style. Deepika's house in Mumbai is spread over an area of 2,776 square feet and has three parking lots. 
Back then, she had paid a stamp duty of 79 lakhs to register the property. Now, Beaumont Towers, where Deepika Padukone currently lives uh, with Ranveer Singh, is one of the poshest properties in Mumbai, bang on the main road leading to Siddhi Vinayak Temple. And I remember this because a very dear friend and ex-colleague from Times Now used to live there, who, like Deepika, belongs to Bangalore and has also shifted to that city since many, many years now. But anyway, such high-profile deals are nothing new in Bollywood. In January this year, Raj Kundra transferred five flats worth 38.5 crores to his wife Shilpa Shetty. In the same month, Kajol bought two flats in Juhu for 11.95 crores. Earlier this year, Akshay Kumar paid 7.84 crores for an apartment in Khar. Akshay Kumar already has a lot of apartments in the city. This year. Chopra's iconic BR house in Juhu was also sold for 182 crores. Last year, of course, Janvi Kapoor got her own pad for an eye-popping 39 crores in Andheri. The luxury homes market in Mumbai is the country's most valuable property market and it has continued to see relentless demand, especially given the limited supply in premium neighborhoods. While South Mumbai locations such as Worli continue to see high-profile sales, upscale properties in suburban areas such as Bandra and Juhu have also seen very high demand. Many developers have been buying old bungalows in the sea-facing areas of Bandra and Juhu, hoping for a relaxation in the coastal regulation zone or CRZ norms, which will lead to more supply of apartments in this area in the times ahead. Now, let us know what kind of thoughts come to your mind when you hear about such insanely expensive property deals and the kind of luxurious lives that these celebrities live. And while you are scratching your head, like I was, about these mind-boggling figures, try feeling your hair on your head and see if they are thinning or falling. If yes, then stop scratching your head and use these fingers to order the It Really Works Vitamins for Hair. Now in a new and improved packaging that you can still get for a full 40% off with the promo code RONAK40. As you all know, I've been using this product. I still use this product. A lot of my friends and family use it, which is why I talk about it. So if you have hair issues, then go ahead and try it out. They have a full refund policy as well, by the way. No questions asked. So go ahead and order it if you think that you need it. It's for men and women both, and it's pretty safe. I've been using it for last two years, and I've seen visible difference, which I've shown you guys also time and again. So I don't need to convince you anymore if you have hair issues go ahead and try it out if not you can always get a full refund as well the link to order is in the description the promo code is ronak40 but it will be automatically applied if you use this link which i give in the description and i'll also try to pin the first comment as this link for your convenience but as always uh, you can connect with me on instagram and on facebook it's at the rate review ron we can chat over there on twitter i'm available as ronak kotecha like share subscribe and hit the bell icon if you like our videos if not let us know how we can improve a lot of you are also giving me valuable inputs and which i'm taking and you can see in the content that we're offering you but as always even if you don't do any of these things thank you so much for watching this one please take care of yourself and those around you Jai Hind.